And I used to sit there, watch him in the bed, in pain, and dying of glioblastoma. And I thought to myself, what would happen if his insurance company was able to come in, which they could have done before past Obamacare, and said, you've outrun your insurance, you've outlived it, suffer the last five months of your life in peace. You're on your own. All the things that it did, that it was so profound an impact on people, it was like it took them a while until they started to take it away to realize what was happening. Yeah, well, look, I mean, you and I both uh, know what it's like to have somebody you love get really sick. Uh, and in some cases to lose somebody, but that loss is compounded when you see the stress on their faces ah. because they're worried that they're being a burden on their families. They're worried about whether the insurance is going to cover the treatments that they need. I couldn't be prouder of what we got done. 20 million people have health insurance that didn't have it because of what we did. But you, you remember when we were talking about this, I always used to say the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, it's like a starter house. Yep. It, it, it's the first house you get. And it, it's not the end of the process, it's the beginning of the process. You know, we used to say that, you know, this is a starter house. Yeah. Remember what I used to say? It's like Social Security when it was first passed. That's exactly right. Social Security when it was first passed was this narrow. Very narrow. Social Security now And you kept on here. building it out. kept building it out. Making it better. Well, it's a little, right. that, that starter house. They got inside the house and they realized, wow, God, this is better than being out in the cold, <laughs> number so, one. But number two, yeah. and then they said, but I got a guy out there banging down the house. They're trying to take down the house. And I, it, didn't, it, I didn't realize the reason I had this house is because of <laughs> boom. And what's happening now is that you have so many people now. I can't think of any time since the flu in 1918 that 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 the public had, must, I don't know then, but it appears it had to be totally, thoroughly aware right. of how vulnerable they were. Right. Now you have people going, oh my Lord. And, and, and look, you're absolutely right that it is hard to fathom anybody wanting to take away people's health care in the middle of a major public health crisis. And offer nothing. At a time when unemployment is in double digits.